California and everybody is so excited! I don't think my, my makeup bag weighs one pound. What's, what's the way? Uh, 60 pounds! She can chicken spread, are you serious? Hey, I don't like this. She can spread it. Thank you. Whatever, I get hungry. I got a whole loaf of bread in there too. Kidding me? 54 pounds! Hey, I took out 6 pounds! That's good, that's good till we got to the airport. We got 4 pounds. 46 pounds. My makeup bag was four pounds. Holy <laughs> moly! I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be under. That's okay. You rather be under. Wow. Fifty point eight. What was it? Fifty point eight. I feel very confident that I have everything, and I'm overly packed. <laughs> Whether at home on the Ole Miss campus or on the road in sunny California, associate head coach Ruben Felix teaches his student athletes that every day is a learning experience. One hop me, look, one hop, one hop me. There we go, throw it back to me. One hop. You're learning, you're learning. The one hop graduation degree. That's your goal, one hop degree, one hop. Oh, did you, Horton? Nice. Graduate, graduate, graduate. Graduation! Oh, no! You're still in junior high. Here we go. You ready? Oh, yes. Perfecto. One hop me. One hop me. Oh, another graduate. Turn your tassel around. Turn it around. There we go. Have fun. Have fun. Who line drives? Good, Brecker. Heads up, watch your face. Good swing, it's a good swing. Good, way to hit it right there. Stay tall, don't collapse the back. Good, had a girl. Stay connected, stay connected. Booyah, had a kid. Balls, pick him up, here we go, on the hop. See, they always say, put it back like you found it. So we're gonna put it back even better because we take pride in what we do. You hear me, Mississippi? It's a long day's work here in California. Hey, stop holding the camera and get on. <laughs> you are the best. I'm so old. I lost my voice today. Oh, oh awesome. So I'm going to apologize. No, no, you're good. Yeah. That's a surprise to me. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so this is our guest speaker. This is Leah Bryan Amico. So she's a three time Olympian. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Leah Bryan Amico, ladies. Thank yeah. you. I mean, obviously, all over there, and I was, today's the first day, so you guys must have been dying because tomorrow you're going to wait like that day until tomorrow. There's so much of this game, you guys, everybody across the board has put in the time since you guys have been little. You guys have all put in the hours, the time, um, the preparation, the, the gym, the weight room, I mean, all that kind of stuff, the conditioning, and now it's just about going out and trusting everything. I just started thinking about some of the things when coach asked me to talk, you know, first and foremost, just that fire of hating to lose. I don't know about you guys in here, but if you have that player, like if you do little competitions amongst yourself and they're the one that has like the worst attitude when they lose, you need, you need that. And the more people on the team like that, we definitely want to handle our losses with class. But you need to have that fire to hate to lose. You know, I, I love seeing highlights of Taryn every year and, and those years. Because I can remember those years, and people didn't think, oh, they could do it. And people weren't giving them this, you know, 
this chance and, and who cares what people say, right? You just go out and get it done. It's those games that you come from behind. It's those games that it's tied. Those are the games that then start to build that championship athlete, that championship team, that championship mentality. So pass this around. You guys, you've had a chance to see these, I'm not sure. I know I'm not Jenny Fish. <laughs> I'm big friends with her. <laughs>
or two right there for me doing that. I start with like two runs. With two games again slated for the day, the Rebels hope to soak in the success from the previous day and mentally lock in. Your mindset has to gear up for two games. You know it's going to be a long day. Um, I tell our players don't leave anything in reserve in any game that you do. Over the fall and over the first of the spring, you know, we did scrimmages that were 10, 14 innings long, so I think that we did prepare ourselves really well. Great job! Better girl, great job! Good job, way to get out of that. Good job, ladies. With a one nothing lead through three innings, the Rebels would make their stand in the fourth inning, running off eight runs. Get here! Round it, round it, round it! Safe! Safe! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Batter, girl! I think we just saw their pitcher one time through the lineup. Uh, usually that's what happens. But once we were able to do that, um, the bats came alive and we squared up on a lot of balls and girls made some, some good swings and we got some great base running and played some good defense and it was just a great showing all the way around. There's a fire this year that we didn't even have last year, which is weird to think about. It's a fire that we don't want to lose. It's a fire that we're not going to settle, that we're going to get seven runs in an inning and then the next one we're going to try to get se seven more runs. Hitting is contagious. Um, one out, two outs, no outs. Uh, if somebody gets on base and then somebody else gets on base and somebody else, I mean, it's just, it's like a chain effect. We're not always gonna have big eight run innings. We're gonna do a better job base running and a better job early in the ball game on hitting in good situations, especially with bases loaded. It's a good win though. Clay, where you are, way to battle. Good job, good job, way to battle. Rebs on three, one, two, three, Rebs. In game two, Ole Miss found themselves on the wrong end of a pitcher's duel with North Dakota State, falling 1-0. I don't think we had some really good timing on the pitches. I think their pitcher did a really good job uh, moving balls around and kind of keeping us off balance. Um, but ultimately, in the end, we did miss some balls that we should have squared up on. And, you know, you got to tip your cap to uh, the pitcher from NDSU. I mean, she did a great job keeping us off balance and keeping us off out of some big innings. And um, we'll chalk that up to experience and youth. And this team is resilient. They're going to move forward. They're going to learn from it. And they're going to get better. Although the Rebels fell in the pecking order the day before, the red and blue were not discouraged. The next day, they looked to kick the losing feeling. But to do so, they would depend on freshman pitcher Morgan Bruce. Morgan's a competitor, a lot like Caitlin Lee. Um, when she gets the ball, it's, it's about business. The one thing I love about her is she keeps the ball down in the zone. She can get a lot of strikeouts too. So um, if, she is, if she's aggressive, if she gets ahead of hitters, she's really untouchable. In the first inning of Bruce's first start, her throwing ability, as well as her excitement, were evident. I think my favorite part of her coming coming on and pitching was her first strikeout. She, Courtney Ann usually throws up the fin after she gets a strikeout, but Bruce, as soon as she pitches, she goes, and she just <laughs> she throws it up, I'm like, what are you doing? She looked like a fish out of water because she just jumped up and she's throwing her fans up. And for me, I just, I, I laugh. Uh, when she threw that fin up, it was really quick. Um, and so no one really understood it. She had her fingers spread apart. So we were kind of joking about it in the dugout that next time you get your strikeout, this is how you do it. And I know when she came in after that inning, the girls were in there giving her the, uh, the crash course and how to put the fins up. With the joking aside, the Rebs would turn their attention to the game at hand getting their bats warmed up, much to the delight of their coaches. Hey, refocus right here. Your job's to get to first. Get here. And a base hit in the left field. Cox will score. Here comes Becker. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Good job. And the throw misses the cut, which allows Gonzalez to move up to second base, and the Rebels take an early 2-0 lead here in the top of the first. That was a great job by Gonzalez. 
with a tough inside pitch that's curving into her. She just gets her hands out and doesn't get all of it, but gets enough of it to just put it into left field. Despite the early fireworks from the offense, LMU would settle in, stopping the scoring surge at two. But the Rebel coaching staff would notice something in the opposing defense that they would use to break the game wide open. Uh, just so you're aware, she's the, pit the pitcher's walking out of the circle, out of the back of the circle every That's single okay. time. Right, and I, I, we're I probably going to take off. Okay. So just in case we're on the same page, I didn't want, you know, a hoopla, they're going to raise Kane if we do it. Keep your head up, like if she keeps walking out the back of that circle, you got to look for the perfect moment. If there's nobody covering third, or if, the, if you get to third and the catcher walks away, a perfect moment that we remember. you got to be back on the bag and the ball's in the circle. When then she walks back out, that's when it's free go. But always be smart about it, but just know it's a factor. Hey, get a good jump over here. Come on, Paige. Good job, good job. Down, down, down. Yes, Dylan. Yes. Yes, Dylan. Yes. That is heads up. Barrington got caught falling asleep there a little bit. And again, that's a game-changing moment for the Rebels. They're already up 2-0. They want some insurance runs here late in the game. They haven't scored since the first inning. Dylan! That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Woo! That was good. The 1-1 pitch from Farrington on the way. Grounded up the middle, and the ball is through. Open, see it, see it, go, see it, go, see it, go, go, go! Yes! And Stancil scores, and that is exactly what Stancil wanted. Yes, Payne! Yes! The plan had worked flawlessly. The Rebels would use the momentum from the steal for the remainder of the day, finishing victorious with a score of 8-1. I mean, I'm beyond excited, I really am. Um, you know, I try to kind of keep an even keel, but you know, the smile does come out. Um, I'm excited for the hard work that these girls have put in. You know, three years ago, I stepped on, on this campus and, and wanted to create a, uh, a great foundation and a program for what we're trying to do. And you know, three short years later, um, you know, we're ranked in two polls in the top 25. You know, last year we finished the year at number 24, which was really exciting. But Ole Miss softball is here to stay. We're all in and we're, we're, we're coming for people.